G'day folks, today we've got AEG 16 inch um, Bohemoth of a chainsaw. Yeah, this is on their 58 volt line. Yep. Model number is ACS 58B200. Yeah, this is a pretty cool looking piece of kit. As usual, I've used it before doing the intro and all the pretty photos. Um, so she's going to look grubby, but we're going to get into some footage now and show you just how it works. Alrighty, so I had a fair crack with this thing uh, up at work. It's uh, fair to say we've had this one for a while. Oh, maybe a little while. <laughs> it's becoming a bit of a habit. We, we like to road test uh, chainsaws and, and all our tools for a long time. Did this come in 2018 or 2017? I, I don't want to say. <laughs> so let's just say it is not brand new to the market. Okay. Uh, so Cop Tool will be upset with this because they don't like us reviewing any tools on YouTube that are more than a month old. But uh -huh. suck it up, guys. It's okay. Okay. Uh, but look, this is a real cracker. I, I've got a couple, had a couple of little favourites of mine of the cordless chainsaws. Just seem to feel right. Yep. This ticks pretty much every box of those. Yeah. It sounds ridiculous, but I'm going to say it's very chainsawy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what Mike means by that is uh, we've used some other chainsaws, and Ego is a good example. Yep. Of a chainsaw you pick up and you're like, it makes no noise. Yep. And and you know it just. It, it doesn't feel like, you know, a traditional old husky or still yep. kind of chainsaw. You yep. pick this one up and you're like, yeah. Yep. This one feels like your old style petrol chainsaw. Yeah, it feels like what we're used to with a chainsaw. It certainly looks like body-wise, yep. uh, the handle. Everyone's trying to do slightly different stuff. But yep. AG seemed to have gone, here's what everybody knows a chainsaw looks and feels like. Yeah. We're going to turn it into a cordless unit. Yeah. Uh, and it, it is actually pretty noisy. I can't remember the exact decibels of it, but... Okay. It's noisier than most uh, like cordless chainsaws, yeah, but not horrendous. Nowhere near what the petrol is. You can hear the chain spinning a million miles an hour on this thing. Like it, it sounds fast. I can't, I can't remember the figures. Twenty on the board. one meters a second. Meters a second is yeah. the is the chain speed. Yep. Um, which and I, I'd hazard a guess to say that might be the fastest chain speed. It's about of, of the cordless units we've used. Yeah, the couple others that do rate it in it, this is the fastest out of it. But then there's others. That don't rate it like that. So sure. I'd be yeah. stuffed if I was sitting there trying to work it out, <laughs> uh, just to find that out. So this, I ran this on a four amp hour battery the whole time. Yeah. So there's your block there. Now that's one point nine kilo. Yeah. I think this is four point six as a skin. Four point seven. Yeah. Four point seven. Which who gives a toss about how heavy it is with as a skin because it ain't working. Um, so what's that about six? Six six. six that's six. six. Yeah. So well, she's a really comfortable unit. Um, it's got your anti-vibe here. It's a, it's really basic. You pull this lever here, yep. so you pull that back, and then just <coughs> hit the trigger. Yeah. That probably wasn't great doing that like that. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Safety people will be onto us. Very sorry. Yeah. Um, but look, it's it's quick and easy. It's very comfortable to do that. At first, when we got it, 
It felt wrong to put your hand there, slide your thumb back and pull the trigger. It did feel odd for the first couple of seconds. Yeah, right. So for me, it did feel weird, but I just got into it. You get used to it. Didn't notice sure. it after, well, next to no time, really. In ergonomics, all of the handles um, and the bar and everything, they all feel um, like they, they make sense. Yep. They, they're good. There's nothing they're, hanging in a place that shouldn't be. They're good ergonomically. Yep. It's nice to see the metal teeth on the front. Yeah, I've, I've had a bit of a, a whinge about this with a couple of the, the brands that don't have the metal teeth. It feels like if you don't have the metal teeth, you're not taking it seriously. Mm. I know that's not the case, but I just like being able to actually dig it in. And not because I want to dig it in and stall the thing, but actually dig it in and use the chainsaw the way I'm used yeah, to. Levering it. Yeah. yeah, to actually rotate it and lever it in. Yeah. Whereas when they've just got the plastic bit on the front, I don't think it hampers it, but it just to me it doesn't feel right. Yeah. So I do love that, that's for sure. And that's true to AEG's 58-volt um, line, is they're, they're quite traditional sort of tools. Yes. I remember when I reviewed their lawnmower, um, you know, it was the traditional fold-out metal um, handle, yeah, you know, it took a little yeah, while to handle, the handles, knobs, and yeah, it took a little while to set up, um, and it felt very strong and robust and, yep. and a bit old school. Yep. And the same goes with this. You've got the nice metal spikes at the front, yep. but you've also got a couple of nuts here. Yeah. To yep. uh, to play with your chain. Yes. Yep. I would personally rather not have a couple of nuts hanging off the side. Yeah. I quite like tool-free um, bar adjustment. Yeah. The little spanners underneath here, which you pointed out to me earlier, <laughs> I may not have recognised that the entire time I've had it. You've only had it for a year or so. Yeah, so we'll, but, we'll cut you some slack. Okay, it's that's <laughs> great. But seriously, who picks up a chainsaw and turns it upside down to find the damn spanner? It's a clever spot, yeah. and honestly, clearly, it's it's in there hard enough. That is the first time that's ever come out. Yeah. But it hasn't dropped out, has it? No, that's true. So um, kudos to AG for doing that. Next time, put a big sign on it saying, "Look underneath, stupid." And I might find it. Well, next time, give us a tool-free adjustment. Give us a tool-free adjustment. I would like to see tool-free adjustment. It, it does work. It can work. Yep. I've never had a bar or chain come loose with the other brands that have got tool-free adjustment. Okay. Um, but in saying that, the build, it is it is super, and I, I really like it. I'm really comfortable with it. Yeah, I am also comfortable with I don't know what plastic. Song. I really need to get, um, I don't know, not metallurgic, because that's metal. <laughs> need to get my brain into gear one day and work out what plastic some of these companies use. This is... a Plastic's not just plastic. This is a beautiful hard, it's a shiny plastic, but it's just a tough looking plastic. Yeah. So I'd love to know what it is and then where that's rated. Sure. That'd be interesting. But bottom line is, this sucker hasn't let me down at all. No. As I said, been running it with four amp hour. Which is what you I'm want. very, very happy. Yeah, you wouldn't want anything less. They've got twos, I, w I wouldn't do it. Yep. Put, a, put a four in it. This also got left out in the rain for a couple of nights. Okay. Um, quite badly, I may have completely forgotten about it. Uh, but once the battery's out, you've actually got drainage hole through the bottom there. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah. but when that got soaked, I thought, oh, I'm going to be in a bit of trouble here. Pulled the battery out, checked it, put it straight back in and hit the trigger, and it was fine. Oh, good. No issues. Haven't had any issues with oil? No, nah, no issues with oil. Look, all of the cordless chainsaws uh, seem to leak more than a petrol, I believe. Now, everyone's going to have a different opinion. Okay. But we've got four branded cordless chainsaws. Yeah. They all leak more than what my old steel, which is about 10 years old, do. Okay. No word of a lie. Doesn't upset me. I just carry a, a bit of cardboard. Yeah. When it goes in the back of you, I shove a bit of cardboard under it. You don't lose a ton of oil. Sure. But they do seem to drip more than most. Yep. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's wrap this up. I think we've... Mate, you got good things to say about this? Yeah, get out there and try and check it out at yeah. one of their demo days for sure. Um, if you've got any concerns, uh, if it'll ease your concern, go and play with it. I reckon you'll snatch one up. Fits right in with the AJ 58 volt line, yep. which has been very robust and powerful. Yes, 100%. Mm. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Please hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and in the comments down below. Beautiful. We'd love to chat. See you later. Thanks.